Welcome everybody. Well today I'm going to take a look at Oracle um, Linux server release uh, 6.3 that just got released um, on Friday. Don't ask me why I bother to password protect my virtual box. I'm not actually going to move this off of my desktop. So let's take a look at what it comes with. Basically it's your basic loadout of basic uh, software that's related to GNOME 2, except uh, one thing I noticed was that they are actually using Firefox ESR, which is the extended support release for large organizations. Now this is really great because um, the intention is that you won't have to upgrade um, Firefox every six weeks when there's a new version. So that's good news. Um, you get two desktops. Pretty exciting stuff, I'm sure. A no frills interface with the Oracle Penguin on the logo by default, but I'm sure you can go in and change that node problems. Software updates. That's actually the scheduler for the software updates. Let's take a look at the administration for adding and removing software. Now, there's a lot. Basically, this is for uh, server technologies. So let's say you're going to run a website um, since it's based after uh, Red Hat. Enterprise Linux, which is in turn developed through um, the testing with Fedora. Uh, Oracle has gone and they've taken Red Hat Enterprise Linux and um, reworked it to work with a lot of their uh, server technologies. At least that's according to their website. So let's see if I can find something to install. PHP Oh, I see. Yeah, these are all um, MySQL. Wow. This is actually really cool if you want to um, run a desktop, a, um, a, a file server, or better yet, a, um, um, a home based uh, server, or if you're an IT person, you want to serve a web, uh, website. Actually, trying to see if I could find some interesting applications. Oh, KDE Desktop. If I wanted to, I can install that. It looks like those aren't installed yet. Now, it was a 4.3 gigabyte download, which I thought was kind of strange because um, what I noticed was that there just isn't a lot going on as far as applications are concerned. I mean, you've got your CD creator and your terminal, and these are all really low, um, not low end, uh, small applications. I mean, Rhythmbox itself is version uh, point 12.8, point whereas um, I'm running in uh, Ubuntu Studio here, which of course is 12.04, uh, and uh, the version that came with that would be 2.96. So, you're going to be running a server go ahead give this a shot let's see now, of course you could even go with um, some other uh, distributions um, if you're not an organization you might want to be uh, checking out um, what uh, web server that I work with I think it's a uh, CentOS is actually the same thing is Red Hat only it's being run off of uh, um, it's yeah, a complete rebuild. So that's a tangent, I apologize. So Oracle Linux is it basically intended for anyone who wants to serve up Oracle products. Oracle eData, um, analytics, database, appliances, uh, virtual machines. Um, uh, so just consider it a, a, a network version of Linux. I guess. Um, as a I dare say it's actually well, see they don't even offer uh, XFCE on here. Hmm. What's this? All development tools. 
I'm going to install something like Office software. Apologize, this is taking for a, a little bit. Okay, LibreOffice. Sure, why not? Sorry for the pounding. My microphone is. Let's try this one more time. Well, that's embarrassing. It's probably something I have set up wrong with the uh, virtual box. So with Independence Day around the corner, if you're looking for an American-based distribution, according to DistroWatch, Oracle is one of those US distributions. But of course, you could always go with some others. But um, would I use this if I was an IT professional and um, wanted to host a, um, a massive server? I think this would work rather well. It's really small on resources. Let's take a quick look before I log off here for everyone. Sorry, everyone. It's been a while since I've actually looked at GNOME 2. so. I'm a little slow going through these menus. Not too shabby. Oh, some basic gnome theming, I suppose. Maybe you want a throwback to the days of GNOME 2.0. Um, this might be for you. Oh, cool. Got rid of the Penguin logo. <laughs> All right. Well, there's my quick overview review of Oracle Linux, something I've never looked at before. And uh, I apologize if I bored you guys out. But um, um, thanks for watching.